And we're going to start by sitting up tall. Lean all the way back to your chair. And if you have a block, it's nice to kind of set up right on your scapula, um, right on your upper back where your shoulder blades meet. From here, allow yourself to settle. Start to notice the whole body beginning to find a little bit more stillness. And if you still want to adjust anything here, this is a place for you to maybe move the shoulder back and away from the ears, and maybe adjust manually, adjust your seat. Get yourself comfortable as you're sitting nice and tall. Draw all your attention into your lower part of your body, the base of your spine. Feel the lower part of your body become heavy. Allow this awareness rest in just the lower part of your body, the base of your spine, your sits bones, your thighs, your legs, your feet. When you're comfortable, we can close your eyes completely from top to bottom. Taking this moment to draw all your attention to your lower part of your body and feel how grounded you are, how supported you are in this space. Whether your feet touch the ground or not, can you feel your legs become heavy? Allow this gravity to draw you down to support you, to ground you. And with your gaze closed, start to notice your breath. As you breathe in, feel the core of your pelvis drawing down and lifting the spine nice and long, reaching the energy towards the crown of your head. And as you exhale, finding a little bit more softness, sinking to this pose. So in this pose, you are continuing to notice your flow of your breath. Each inhale, feel that your body lengthen a little bit longer, taller, you're growing taller. Each exhale, softening body, bringing more relaxation. And keep going, just normal rhythm. No need to change anything right here. And completely bring your attention to your breath. Notice when you inhale, And when you exhale, and the breath starts once again. And when the breath ends, and as you link your breath from inhale to exhale, can you make it smoother? Linking from your inhale to exhale, and exhale to inhale. Inhale to exhale, just like a flow, like the waves goes up and down. Instead of being choppy, you want it to smooth out the waves of your breath. You can even visualize that happening in your mind. Traveling this waves of breath in and out, out and in, smooth, flowy breath, calming your mind, calming your nervous system, centering yourself right here. And just taking a few more moments to visualize that waves of your breath 
in a smooth, even, flowy state. Allow your shoulders to rest. And I become so alert. Once you do, start listening to sounds around you in the space. So drawing your attention outwards to our external world for just a few moments. Giving your mind a task to find sound, whatever sound pops up that you hear in your space. See if you can hear the furthest, furthest sound maybe even outside this room. Perhaps hearing maybe the sound of the trees, birds. Maybe hear sound in this room of the wall crackling. Maybe hear the water dripping, any sound that you might hear, or maybe hear the room next door. So to pay attention to the sounds in the furthest, furthest away from you. Now can you draw your attention now to the sound near you, close to this space? Maybe you start to hear your own sound of your breath. Maybe you hear someone else breathing in the room somewhere. Or maybe you have a pet, a dog or a cat or other animals around you. Sounds near the space, near you in the space. Draw your awareness back to your breath now. Start to lengthen your inhalation. Feeling up your belly, expand your ribcage, chest. Exhale, pulling your belly in. Feeling up. Bringing this energy to the center of your chest. Inhaling, think of pushing the breath downwards. Inflating the the belly, expanding the chest. Exhaling, pulling your navel go in and up. Pull this breath to the center of your chest and exhale out. Like you're blowing this air out through a straw. Go ahead and do two more. Inhale like you're smelling a flower in front of you. At the same time, enjoy the rise and fall of your body. Exhale, pull your belly in. Breathe out through your mouth like you're blowing out through a straw. We do one more. Belly diaphragmatic breath. So we have the abdominal diaphragmatic breath here. And when we do this, you are enhancing your lung capacity. At the same time, you are stretching out those intercostal muscles that will support your lung capacity. So it's enhancing, stretching out those muscles to fill up so that you can breathe a little bit deeper. Taking more oxygen in your cell tissues to nourish your body. Now slowly come back to your natural rhythm now. When your chin to chest. Draw your gaze down and take a moment to set your intention here. And taking this moment to really focus on the healing aspects of this practice. Maybe allowing yourself to center, being close, staying close, close with your breath. Allowing yourself to come back 
again and again to this present moment to show as you are. And that's not easy to do. So remind yourself that your breath is your teacher, your tool to guide you back to this present moment. If you catch yourself thinking or wandering somewhere else, and it's nice to remind yourself to draw your attention back into your breath. We'll sweep our arms up, open your eyes, take in your arms, out and up, inhale. And then exhale, hands to your heart center. One more time, inhale, full breath in. And then exhale, draw your hands back to your heart. Taking an easy twist here. Breathing, keep your hands to your center and then twist to your right. Looking down with your thigh. Breathing, come to center. Breathe out, going to the opposite side. Slightly twist from your navel. Inhale, come to your center. Interlace your fingers, press your palms out and then draw your chin to chest. Start to round that upper back. Press your mid back against your block or mid back against the chair. Take an inhale, lift your arms up overhead or slightly forward if you're modifying. Take it all the way or halfway. Start to lengthen the sides of your torso. Feel your rib cage expand. And exhale, come back to round the upper back, chin tuck into chest, look down towards your thighs. Push your fingers away and press the palms forward to the front of the room. Stretch your palms, your fingers, your upper shoulders and your neck. Take another inhale, bring you all the way back up, either reaching all the way or slightly forward, depends on how you feel on your shoulders, feel free to modify. On your exhale, release it by slowly stretch your fingers and let it go. Whew. Arms out in a T, give me a stop sign here. Pressing the palms out. Now, if this doesn't feel too good for the shoulder at this early on, at the beginning of the class, then go ahead and just lower your fingers down to parallel, even lower your elbows, softly bend. Those are a good option. You can do this. We're gonna do some arm circling. Just like you are making a circle anti-clockwise or clockwise. We're gonna do both direction. Reverse for five, four. Keep your nice, <coughs> keep your torso nice and tall. Three, two. And one, slowly flow your hands back down to your chairs. Let's do a side bend. We'll take your left arm up and over. Keep your arm either slide all the way down to your chair or just hold it by your hip. Ground down your heels if you, our heels are able to rest on the ground. Breathing, lower your left hand down, breathe out, right arm flows up and over. Option, elbows can be bent in that goal pose or not even raising your arms. Those are all good options to modify. We're gonna flow back and forward, do it with the pace that you like to go through. Your pace of your breath, inhale, your rhythm. Exhale, breathing. Doesn't have to be this rhythm, go at your own pace, exhale. Keep going, two more, inhale. Exhale. Think of the smoothing, smooth transitions as you are moving side to side. Last one to right or left. And we're gonna stand us up back to center now. Take the block away from you if you have one. And let's take it to a neck stretch before we come away from the chair. So scoop, uh, scooch forward. Um, you're sitting halfway up the chair, so now you're still maintaining this nice long spine. Imagine that you're hugging your core, raising your ribcage core, like sipping up all the way from navel to your sternum. Reaching the crown of your head up, knee or stacking over your ankle, and then slowly lower your right ear to your right shoulder. Maintain that shoulder heavy. 
Start to feel the side of your left, the neck, shoulder, maybe collarbones. Nice stretch. Take a moment. We're gonna do something different. Usually we flow that left arm out. This time I want you to take a thumbs up. Take it out and turn the thumb down. So now internal rotate in your shoulder, bring that thumb behind the sacrum. So keep that thumb up as you're hiding that thumb behind the sacrum or lower down. Can you hide it so hard that you can't see your left elbow reaching across your right, um, right hip maybe? <laughs> do the best you can to hide your elbow as well as your thumb. Keep your right ear become heavy. Keep it heavy. And then slowly release your left arm, send it back to your thigh, palms up. Use your right hand to guide your head back to center. Ooh. Now rest your hands on your thigh. Just take a moment. Notice the difference between one side that you just stretched, one side that you are being uh, compressing and see if you feel more space from your left ear to your left shoulder. You might even notice one shoulder is higher than the others. Take it a moment to sing your left ear down now. Lower your left ear towards your left shoulder without forcing anything to happen. Take one round of breath. Imagine that left ears and shoulder become heavy. Maintain this nice long spine, torso upright. Do the same thing, give me a thumbs up. We're gonna extend the thumb out. Internal rotating, give me a thumb down here and hide it behind your sacrum. Now your thumb will turn up towards the sky. Option one, just leave that thumb wherever it is, maybe lower back, maybe your upper back and you can reach up. Doesn't matter where you go, we're stretching into your range of motion. And you can also hide your elbows, start to reach your palms, reach that back of your hand to maybe the outside of your left hip, if you can. And try to draw your elbow inwards a little bit more to stretch your rotator cuff. Keep reaching the thumb up, bringing all the fingers inside your palm. Breathe. Start to notice what sensation you might experience on the right shoulder. Do you feel the tops of your shoulder? Where do you feel? Is it comfortable? Can you breathe through easily? Check with your breath. Usually when you can breathe comfortably, maybe it means that you've gone too far. So in that case, just lower your arms and relax for a bit. Release your right hand back, send it back to your thigh, using your left hand to support your head and start to cradle your head back to center. Ooh. Again, close your eyes for a bit and just notice the right side versus the left side. Are they more even out? Is one shoulder still higher than the others? Can you find space between your ears and your shoulders? Breathe into your neck. Exhale, release. Take your arms out by your side and start to twist. So we're gonna do a dynamic movement. We're gonna twist right and left. Five, four, three, two, and one. And center. And now we're gonna bring our hands down, take it all the way up, inhale, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Reach your arms up. Just keep your arms either go pose or reaching all the way up. We're twisting from your navel and your torso. We're going to be twisting for five count. Breathe out through your mouth. Four. Three. 
Keep your knees parallel. Three, two, one. Inhale. To your left. Ground down your feet. Three, two, one. Lower your arms down. Hands by your, your chair or press your hands down to the chair. We will stand up in a chair pose. So I'm going to turn it side view. Some of us might need extra support. Go ahead and use the chair and don't let your arms leave if you need extra support. And take whatever you need, ground your heels down, lift your hips down to slightly tip, bring your fingertips there. If you don't need so much support or not even any support, lift your chest, pull your lower belly in, lifting your gaze forward and up. Arms can be here, arms can be in your heart, arms can reach back like airplane. Ground down those heels, feeling your quadriceps engage as well as your inner thigh. So both inner and outer thighs are supporting you in your chair, chair pose. Hands to your heart, we're gonna bounce it for five. Go ahead and hold the chair if you need. Four, three, little pulse, two, and one, rise all the way up and then find that extension here. Squeeze your bum and feel the whole extension through your hips. Engaging your legs in your mountain pose. We're gonna do that one more time. So look down and see where your chair is. Maybe walk in a little bit. You can try to catch the chair. You don't have to sink all the way down. So Bend your knees, start to pull the knee back. So now, imagine that you're sitting on the chair. This is a great pose. Lifting your chest, pulling your belly in, and then find that lumbar spine is natural curve. And when you're ready, hands to your heart. And then we're gonna pulse for five, whoop, four, maybe sit a little bit lower, if you like to challenge yourself. Three, sometimes doing less is more. Depends on how you feel. Every moment is different, right? For two and for one, rising all the way up to your tall mountain, reach your arms up high, exhale hands to your heart. Let's start to warm up the whole entire body in our sun salutations. So we're gonna do a half sun. Imagine you don't need the chair, just leave them there. We're gonna start standing on your mat. Chair will be Definitely helpful if you could prefer to bring the chair in the front of your mat, go ahead and do so. And then move everything away so that you are um, safer as you step in and out. Okay, so arm distance of the chair if you need support. Feet are about two fist distance apart. Let's reach up, inhale, ground your feet, reach your arms skyward. Exhale, hands to your heart. Pinch from your hips and bow forward to your forward fold. Hands to shins, lengthen the spine nice and long, gazing forward and down. Feel your tailbone is reaching back to the back of your mat. Exhale, forward fold, let go of all your efforts. Dangle the arms, roll your spine, as you rise back up. So start to uncurl the tailbone, lower back, mid back, upper back, shoulder roll back in the way. Reach your arms up high. Inhale to that urban hastasana, so lifting to the side. Exhale, hands to your heart. Tadasana, mountain pose. Feel your feet root down to the ground. We'll do two more. Full body warm up. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, bow forward and fold. Let go of all the effort. Dangle your head on shoulders. Hands to shins, halfway lift is when you activate. Gazing forward, hip bones pushing back to the wall. Exhale, forward fold. Let it go once again. Relaxation here. Rest your belly and your thigh, slowly roll up. Activate now, start to uncurl the spine, pull your belly in, breathing, reach up high. Palms together to touch or bend your elbows. Exhale, hands to your heart, Tadasana, one more. Breathe in, reach up high, inhale. Exhale, bow forward and down, fold. Let go. Breathe in, halfway lift, pause. Straighten your legs, gaze forward and down. 
Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Breathe in, roll up to standing, really brace your core, use your legs, reach your arms up high. Exhale, hands to your heart, to Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Taking a moment to ground down your feet. We're gonna walk close to the chair now, and if you don't have a chair, just walk to the top of your mat. Chair pose, hands to your heart. Hands can be on the chair. Feet are separated. We'll do a wide leg chair pose. Squat down, pull your knee and shins back, just like you are sitting on a chair like before, we first started the chair. Scooping your tailbone down and find that neutral curve on your lumbar spine. Pull your knee and shins back, maybe hands on thigh, this is enough, maybe need extra support, maybe bring your hands to your heart center, whatever it is. Keep lifting your collarbone, sternum up, spreading the collarbone, lifting your sternum up. And on your exhale, we're going to rise up, taking your right leg back, finding that warrior one stand. So as you look back, you're grounding the outer edge of your right foot, toes pointing to that right corner or to the chair. Keep both hip bones facing forward, scissor your legs. If you need chair, go ahead and find that length. This is great. Shoulder roll back in the way, you're reaching your arms, everything is engaged. Step up your core, and maybe one arm up, maybe both arms up. Take it a moment to notice when you elevate your shoulders, allow softness in your shoulders, but you are lifting, using your serratus anterior, your side of your lats elevate. So do not try to compress or depress them. Allow the shoulder to do its job. Elevate with it, with your arms. Find softness and space between your ear and shoulders. Exhale, open out to your airplane arm, leaning forward, gazing forward. Feel anchoring from your back foot. Feel the front knee bending. Hold it here and keep breathing. Arm reaching back. Focus on looking at the gaze. Your drishti is forward. Breathe in, reaching your arms, external rotating your palms up, back to warrior one. Exhale, flowing back to your airplane. We're gonna do one more here. One breath in, inhale up. Exhale, airplane arm, leaning forward. Anchoring the back foot into the ground. Breathing up. Hands to your heart or to the chair and stepping that right foot forward. Chair pose. Hands can be in your heart. Hands can be on the chair. Start to sink deep. Pull your knee and shins back. Draw all your weight into your heels. Can you breathe comfortably? Feel the pulling navel into your spine. Lifting your sternum up, shoulder roll back and away. Take another breath, start to feel the IT bend all the way to your, maybe your, your buttocks. And on your inhale, slowly rise up. Ooh. Try to strengthen, strengthen your legs and start to feel the extension of your hip. Squeeze your glutes. Hands to your heart, glide your left foot back, very slightly turn that left hip forward, set up warrior one. Arms forward, this is great if you have support with, with the chair, so don't hesitate to use any support. Arms can lift one at a time or both arms up. Instead of leaning forward, can you maintain this nice long spine? Head stack over shoulder, shoulder stack over your hips and reach your arms skyward. We'll do three breaths here. On your exhale, start to sweep your arms, internal rotating, and then bring your thumbs out, palms facing down. Breathing external rotating, palms reaching up skyward, palms may be touching or not. Exhale, 
palms down, reaching your sternum forward, gazing forward and down. Inhale, reach your palms up to the sky. One more. Exhale, airplane arms. Anchoring your back foot into the earth as you bend your front knee right over your ankle. Flip the palms. Inhale, rise your arms back up to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stay. Sip up your cords and look forward. Either hold your chair or pick up your back foot, glide it back. Chair pose, last chair pose, lots of strengthening for your outer hip, quadricep. We're going to add a little bounce here, just like before, as pull your knee, shins back, ground down the heels, pulsing for five, four, gazing forward, three, two, and one. Take it all the way up. Hands on the chair, and then side bend to your right. Now, if you're not holding the chair, what you can do is tap it, tap your right hand on your left hip. So make sure your hips are facing forward, squaring your hips, left bicep can be by your ear. Modify, lifting your elbow up, maybe gaze up or down. Inhale, both arms reach high. Exhale, either grab the chair, or send the left hand to your right hip, side bending. Notice your feet are evenly distributed, the weight into the earth. Feel the inner and outer edge of your feet are working. Start to feel those hip, psoas, muscle here. Come back to center, both arms reach high. We're gonna be finding a chair into your warrior too. So now, without the chair distance, you are going to come to your left side. So glide your foot back, walking all the way. Your distance will be the back of your foot is parallel to the back of your mat, and sink that front knee into that 90. We're going to do that one more time. Sink it in. Hands can be on your hips. Side rib cage are expanding. And then when you're ready, open your arms. There you are in warrior two. Extra support, hands to your chair. Open your fingers wide, and then you're going to do one, turning, rotating your toes, and then opening back, just one. So it's pressing the palms together, or hands to chair, and then gliding back, set back to your warrior two. Breathe in, reach your arms up to gentle warrior, Exhale, bend the front knee, stack over your ankle. Look at your left fingers. Breathe in gentle. Breathe out, sink it down. Last breath, inhale gentle. Exhale, sink it down. Right arm, slip it down to your thigh or your hip. Drop your ear, this will be enough, just like what we did. Give me a stop sign or hold a chair. If it's not enough, wrap that right hand behind you. Maybe catching the front thigh, maybe just rest on your lower back. If you want, you can lift your left arm up to your full reverse. Either look up, look down, find that gaze where you find comfortable neck position for you. Take a moment to settle in. Finding a little bit more stillness in your mind. And then open back up to warrior two now. And then take your right hand down, swip it up. Inhale, draw the big circle. Breathe in, Ooh, open up. Breathe in and out. Go at your own pace for two more. Ooh. And one more. Find that chair or Reach your arms, turning your hip forward. Come onto your tippy toes and then step in. Now, your feet are a train track. We're gonna go into our, our pyramid pose. This is a traditional pyramid pose. Both legs are facing forward. Both toes are facing forward in train track. Hips are square. Having blocks in front or chair will help you to get into that position where you can fold and hinge from the hips. I'm going to look 
folding and hinging and hold on to whatever in front of you. If you want to go a little bit deeper and keep that long spine, you can grab block or even send your hands on your fingertips on the floor. Grab block, hold chair. All the options are there for you. Feel your sit bone reaching back to the wall. This is an intense side stretch in pyramid position. You feel your hamstring, you're folding towards your left thigh. So you're working on opening up the hamstring, especially on your left side. If you anchor your back foot, you'll also feel your hamstring on the right, but it's more intense on the left, left side compared to the right. Take in another breath in, either fingertips on block and hands on chair, wherever you are. Keep breathing, lengthening the crown of your head forward, on the exhale, bend the front knee, start to pick yourself up. Reach forward, arms up, back to that warrior one. So it's a short stand warrior one here. Hands to the hips, take your right foot forward. And then we're gonna set up to the other side. So go to your warrior two. Everybody stand on the, the right side. Take a big step, left foot, swing it back. Back foot is parallel to the back of your mat, arms out in warrior two. Take a moment to just look back and forward and see if it's parallel. We'll do two exercises here. Grab your chair if you need to. Swing the left arm forward. Maybe palms together to touch. Pivot your waist forward in the high lunge position and then open out. Breathe in, swiping back forward, high lunge. Exhale, open the left foot out once again. Palms facing down. Sink that front knee into that 90 degrees once more. Breathe in, straighten your front knee, palms together to touch gentle, warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open, warrior two. One more, inhale, arms up. Exhale, warrior two, reverse the warrior, your choice here. Drop your ear, lower your left hand to fly. If this is what you want, stay. If you want more, swiping your left hand behind you, hide it behind your lower back, or reach the fingertips towards the front thigh. Option three, reach your right arm up. Maybe hide the fingers behind your head, modification, or reach your arms back for a deeper version, for a deeper expression. Now, whatever you choose, those options are there for you. And choose one that you, you would like to practice today at this moment. Every moment, our body needs different things. So continue to pay attention and be mindful of what your choices are. Open back up to your warrior two, slowly. Take it all the way up, forward, down, and back. You need five circles here, guys. You can start to gaze up, rotating your cervical spine, along with the shoulders, side body. When you're swimming, <laughs> Keep going for another one. <sighs> and then slowly set your hands forward. Need to pick up the chair. Start to rotate your left hip forward into your high lunge. So slowly step your back foot. Woo. Both hips are square. Both toes are train track, pointing straight ahead. Now choose your pyramid position, how you want to fold. We're gonna hinge from the hips. You, you also are welcome just to go halfway or keep your head above your heart. Doesn't have to go too low. If this is where you are and you feel a lot on your hamstring, then stay where you are. If you still want more, continue to fold, fold, fold until your hands can touch the ground or find block, elevate yourself. You really want to lengthen your spine here as you fold deep into your hip uh, flexion here. Take it a moment to notice. 
tailbone reaching back, your crown of your head reaching forward. Every part of you is engaging. Your arms are pushing into that object to lengthen you so you're not collapsing on your shoulders. You're broadening your upper back here. Take another breath. Send the breath into the places where you find any blockage or tightness or any sensations. And then on your exhale, bend your front knee. Come on now, walk your hands on chair or reach up. Feel the strength of your legs. And exhale, hands to hip or on chair, slide that back forward. And we're gonna do some standing balance posture. Nice job, guys. Hope you're still breathing mindfully. I will set um, the chair in front so you can see me. If you are in the back of your chair, go ahead and do so. Um, I'm going to just bring the chair to the side. You can see me standing. Well, take your left leg up to the sky. So bending knee into that 90 degrees. Hands can be on the chair. We'll do three balance posture here. Find that nice grounding through three quarters of your right foot. Big mount, big ball mount, pinky toe mount, and heel. Open the knee out. Hand and knee pose. If you like, you can stay or bring the foot and tap. Try to reach your inner thigh or your inner shins. If your knees are here, you can even tap the ankle. So wherever you are, tap it for three. Tap it for two. Tap it for one and settle in. Set your foot wherever it lands. So try to press your foot to your thigh. If you have knee issues, you can try to avoid the knee. And just open your knees wide. Lightly press your foot wherever it is that you're comfortable. Keep your hips open and flow your left arm up. We're going to do side bend to the chair. Breathing. Lower down to your back. Keep going too. And last one. And then slowly pick up your knee, release, and come back to center. Lower your toes down for three, two, and one, kick it out. Full extension, your toes down for three, two, and one. Swing it back with straight legs. Now we're gonna work on that glutes and your lower back here. So maintain hip square. Can you tap the toes for three, two, and one? Come back to center. And go to the other side if you have your hand on the side of your chair, or if you are the back of your chair, you can totally do that too. Um, let's start. Left hand on the chair, pick up the right knee to 90 degrees, and then just open out. And when you are ready, you can hold the knee, hold it for three, two, and one. Give it a little tap for three, Two, extend out, and one. Come back to center. We're gonna toe tap for three, two, and one. Open back out, and come to your tree pose of your choice. So either anywhere on your leg, really. You're pressing into your thigh, your shins or ankle to balance, and take your right arm up to the sky, side bending to your left, and then floating the hand down to your thigh, gazing, breathing, and breathe out. Breathing, and breathe out. Inhale, last one, exhale, come to center, release that foot, swing it forward to victory pose. Now, if you are here, doesn't matter where you are, can you lengthen your spine nice and long? 
and toe tap again for three. Last one, you're gonna swing it back with the flex on the toes and flex your toes, swing that leg back and reach your arms nice and long so that you will see the back of your toes are pointing down, okay? Keep your right hip square to the front and left, isolate the torso. You're really working on squeezing your right butt cheek. <sighs> Strengthening your lower back here for two and for one. Come back up and bend your knees, hold. Two and one, lower down. Paddle it up, paddle it up. Let's find our seat now. And we will do one more. We don't need the strap today, actually. <laughs> Those are options for you if you need extra support. Taking your knees out first. We're gonna hold the chair. Make sure you're sitting very comfortably. You will have full support on the chair. Make sure you're not on the edge, okay? Hold the chair and draw your right knee. So you come up to your toes, turning to your left. Breathe in, open. Windshield wipers, your left knee. Inhale, open. Exhale, right knee. You can even turn all your body, your gaze all the way to your left. Breathe in. Breathe out, hold your chair. Just dropping your left knee to the 90 degrees. Breathe in. Breathe out, 90 degrees. Inhale, last one. Exhale, stay. Stay where you are. And then come back to center. One more, right knee. Stay where you are, turning your whole body towards the left side. So to feel your hip flexing. Breathing, come back to center. Open your arms out, and let's do an eagle arm bind. So your eagle is not, um, Available to you today? No worry, we have options. Right arm underneath your left, give yourself a big hug. So that's step one. Elbow on top of each other. Give yourself a really tight hug, maybe walk your fingers a little bit back towards your shoulder blades, if that's um, available for you. If not, you can also just do a loose, a loose grip. And second option is to bind. If you have that in your practice, avoid um, yanking on your big thumb. So be just pressing your fingers into your palms and hopefully you get a half bind, a full bind. Elbows reaching away from your torso, hands away from your face, and then broadening your upper back. Breathe into your shoulder blades. On your exhale, Rotate your torso to the right and fold towards your right. Woo. Really feeling the left side of your shoulder. Now go ahead and notice if it's too much, you always can do less. Track your knees over your second toes. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, go to your left. Breathe in, breathe out. Oof. And try to maintain a steadiness in your breath. And breathe out. Next time you inhale, come back to center. Inhale. And then find your T position once again. Open your arms down. Press your palms back to catch the chair or the palms together. Interlace your fingers if you have that. You can also hold the side of your chairs and open up your shoulders, open up your chest, feel your shoulder blades squeezing in. And then keep breathing. And release. <sighs> open your arms up once again. This time it's your left arm under your right. Give yourself a hug. This will be enough. Stay. If not, find your ego vibe. Take a breath to lift your elbows up to your shoulder height and lift your hands away from your face. And go to your left first this time. Inhale, exhale, fold towards your left thigh. If you can bring it on top of your thigh, if not, that's fine too. Square off your shoulder, pull your belly in. On your inhale, use the strength of your abdominal. Raise your core, come back to center, and go to the opposite side. Keep the bind or hug your shoulder. 
Exhale, fold towards your right thigh. Any amount is good. Make sure both sit bones are grounded to that object chair that you're sitting on. Take another breath, embrace your core. On inhale, come up. Exhale, release. Sending your hands back, grab the chair or interlace your fingers. Open your heart, lift your sternum chest up. You don't have to look up. If neck doesn't feel good, you can look forward and down. Keep broadening your collarbones. And then slowly exhale, release your hands. Hands to your thigh. And just sweep your thigh away from your knee. We're gonna do a cat cow tail here. In the knees open, wide, wide knees open. Inhale, slowly round. We do the opposite here. Exhale, out. Inhale, round. Exhale, out. Inhale, round. Exhale, out. Breathing round again. Come up, exhale. Now we're gonna do inhale out in the cow. Do the opposite. Inhale, scoop your chest forward. Arch your low back. Exhale, round. Four more. Inhale. Scoop your chest forward. Exhale, round. Inhale. You should have to push your knees away. Exhale, round. One more here. Inhale, scoop your chest forward and push your knees apart slightly. Exhale, round. So not too much effort here. Come back to sitting. Toe heel, toe heel, your feet back to touch. And then slide yourself back in. Now, we're going to do a little seated meditation. Slide all the way. Now my chair is a little high, so my feet are not able to kind of sink on the on the floor. But if your heels are grounded, please bring the heels underneath the knee. Allow yourself to rest in a comfortable position. Close your eyes from top to bottom. Finding a little bit more stillness in your physical body. And rest your attention to the space, rest your attention within your breath, finding more calmness in your mind as you start to quiet the mind. Revisit. the experience that we first enter in our practice today. Think of the waves of your breath like the tides of the ocean. Think of this calming sea as your breath. Breathe in through your nose, and breathe out through your mouth. Transitioning from exhale to inhale once again. Visualizing your breath just like the tides in the ocean, the waves goes up and down. The soothing, flowing, even breath. Continue to smooth out your inhalation. To exhalation, and transitioning from exhalation to inhalation, inhalation to exhalation, continuing breath, smooth, even, calming breath. Notice if you're thinking. Draw your mind back into this flowy, even, smooth, calming breath. As 
stop in your place. You feel the tightness in your eyebrows, your temples, and you soften those muscles. Slowly begin to draw your awareness back to the body. Taking a deeper breath here as you inhale through your nose fully until your lungs is full. Hold that at the top. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> Take another deep inhale through your nose. Hold at the top. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> Start to wiggle your fingers and the toes. Take your arms out and roll out your wrists in both directions. The same goes with your ankles, both directions. <sighs> Paddle up your feet up and down, and then lower your arms. Sitting up tall away from the back of your chair now, and take your arms out and up, inhale. Bring your chin to chest, hands to your heart center, Closing your eyes and start to burn your breath. And taking this moment to send yourself some gratitude for the efforts to show up, the efforts that you put in your practice. And may you find this practice helpful for you to center yourself to honor the body for what it does for you. And to continue to notice the tools that we learn in our practice, that we can always use it off of your mat to be mindful as you move through the day, using the mindful breathing to calm you, to de-stress, and bring your mind and body back into more equilibrium, balance, harmony. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. And we bow to each other in state. Namaste.